new videos every day. Life, wisdom. Ron Vaughn here again. Today I'm going to show you what you can do at home for your back, your hammies, your glutes, some self exercises to help you improve or just get some mobility in your body. Okay, I've got some email responses that I'm going to share. Uh, kind of response to these. Uh, got Bud, I got uh, Connor, Eddie. All these guys have responded, and there's some ladies in here as well, uh, worldwide. And uh, hopefully this can help you out. Uh, we're going to use the tennis balls, the, the cross ball, uh, some pelvis movement. And so hopefully this will help you. Okay, uh, something you can do at home that uh, has been shown to me by some uh, physical therapists and docs. Uh, is one thing you can do is to relieve, help your, uh, so what we're trying to do is get your pelvis to, to move, right? So we get you in this position here. You're gonna, what you can do is to kind of get your belly button and imagine it going straight down to the floor or table. Okay, so tighten it up there and hold it. <clears throat> and then you're gonna, slight, you're gonna slightly lift your foot up like this. Okay, then the other one. It's called the bug march or a dead bug, whatever. But you push up and push down, up and push down. Do that, can you do that yourself? Yeah. Can you feel it? What do you feel? What do you feel? My back. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, it's what it's doing is kind of it's kind of making it. Shh, shh. Your spine is here. Pelvis muscles are attached to it, so it's kind of making it rock, right? Mm -hmm. So what that does is helps the pelvis kind of, I mean, uh, the spine kind of move instead of being locked up. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> but remember, you gotta hold your abs in, tighten it up, straight down, and barely lift them up. Yeah. Just like that. Pretty good? All right, cool. All right, another one would be to, what she's gonna do is, so what you're trying to do here is you're holding her leg down, okay? And she's trying to push me up. So we'll do this, hold for three seconds, three, two, one, relax. Okay, do it again. One, two, three, relax. All right, you can do this for yourself. So, hand here, hand here, just gonna push up. One, two, three, relax. Do it again. One, two, three, relax. So that does, it makes the, also the glutes and the pelvis kind of move. After she does this a couple times, she's gonna do the other side the same amount of time. All right, other side. All right. Okay, and then we just, just do it for three seconds, relax for three seconds, push for three seconds, relax for three seconds. This is kind of just making the, the vertebrae just kind of move and the pelvis kind of tilt. Not tilt, but Mobilize. How's that feel? feel it. You can feel it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. So those are a couple of things you can do at home yourself to help release some of that back pain. Some more things you can do at home. I've got some three balls here. All right. Uh, some of you have mentioned about uh, issue of tuberosity, how it's kind of uh, inflamed or scar tissue buildup, tendonitis. -y. Well, this can, can help you here, okay? And also, this will help with some, your psoas area, your hamstring. Uh, we can do a lot of things with these balls, okay? So first one, tennis ball. It's not that hard and soft. So some of you who are you're sensitive or not, I don't know, anyway, try to soft the tennis ball. So what you're gonna do is put the tennis ball under your leg, okay? So put the tennis ball under your leg. All right. Can you feel it? Mm -hmm. A little bit? Yeah. Okay, so pretty much she's gonna rock her, her leg back and forth. How's that feel? Good. That's pretty good? All right, so where do you feel it? Right where the ball is and a little bit up here. All right, so now move the ball up towards your glutes a little bit more. How's that there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. All right, now let's try the lacrosse ball. How's that one feel? Pretty good, a lot harder for sure. Yeah. Feel the muscles kind of moving on the ball there? Mm -hmm. All right. Now roll the ball closer down to your leg, knee a little bit. Anything there? A little bit, yeah. A little bit, right. Okay, that's where the 11 inch softball comes in, okay? Put that under there. Boom. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can definitely feel that, right? Mm -hmm. So remember, you got to relax this as much as possible. You swing it, 
relax it and let the muscles kind of dig into the ball. Feel that? Okay, and you can roll it back up towards your glute. Right in there. Yeah, so as area, you show tuberosity area. Kind of get, yeah. Now if you need to, you can also sit on the ball with the glute. Some of you may already do this already, but you know, just, yeah, how's that feel? Yeah. And you want to do the other side as well. <laughs> yeah, she's a little tighter on the right side. Yeah? All right. Cool. All right. Next, we'll do the foam roller. Again, thanks for the responses, and please respond again. Share with your friends, um, and give me a thumbs up, and please visit my website, athletictuneup.com. Later.